there. Now we have our nice floor for our people to take advantage of when they're um, looking at lifeguards or whatever. I guess I need to adjust this. It's a little uneven. Like so. Okay, now if we want to be more precise here, you see I left a gap here, but um, let's go into our edges. Shift select these edges on the end. And we can hit the R key and make sure all these are even together. And I'm going to bring them out and make them a little more even. Steven with our lower board there. There. That guarantees all of them are on the same plane. Okay. We'll go ahead and do the same thing for these. Okay, go ahead and hit the R key and we'll scale them on the Z to make them all even. And I think I need to bring them out a hair. A hair. Okay. There we go. Now we can get more detailed in future videos. We can go in and add braces between the wood and the floor and stuff. I need to add all those little details. But we're trying to keep this a low polygon model so you guys can get the base model and you can go in and add details as you need it. This little lifeguard house can be used whenever you need it. You just save it and when you need a lifeguard house like this on a beach, you just pop it open and throw them on your beach as many as you need. More like an asset. Um, something you can use over and over again. So now we need to go in and add some wood on the four corners there. And we need to add some posts for the bottom here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. I'm going to Command C and Command V those and W. I'm going to use these as a template for up here because I want them to stay even. I'm not going to move them except up and down back and forth okay it's looking pretty good there let's back them up a little bit okay now let's select these end polygons. And I'll bring them out to where they touch. Now remember, we need to put bolts and everything in all this. And we'll get to that. That's not what we're, our concern is right now. Okay, there's that piece now okay so now we can grab another one of these and this we can use for our corner support like that right there We'll hit the R key and scale them. A tad, then I want to bring it up. So I don't lock these tops here. 
so we can loop select those. We can get rid of that. Same thing here. And all you need to do is select your edges. And you can fill those in if you like. It's really up to you, but there's not going to be no need for it. So now that's um, worked out there. So let's select it and bring it down like that. So now I can select these edges or that polygon on the bottom there and bring it down. Okay, things look a little uneven, so let's even them up. Like that. Now see, now and all we got to do to make this one on the other side is just copy it, do our little Command C, Command V trick, and bring it on over. You see? Now we got the beginnings of our table. Now what we got to do? Just select this one, shift select this one, Command C, Command V, W, and now we got our back to. See, there we go. Okay, now we got the startings of our upper um, building for people to stand in. Now we need to add our wood planks across, which that's easy to do. In fact, you can go to your front or your back view your right or your left view. We'll actually go to the back view. Select our square. And let's just go in here and put one at the bottom, I guess. Like so. Go back to perspective. There she is. So let's push it back. And we'll bring it out like this. That iWeb thing has been bouncing and driving me crazy. So let's look and see what we got here. Now it looks like. We need to widen them out a little. Give it some thickness. And butt it up close there. A little bit too tall for my taste. We'll make it a little skinnier. So, there. Now all we got to do, Command C, Command V, and move it up, like so. Let's do that a couple times, a couple more times. I'm going to make these a little closer. this and we'll just keep making copies like this till we get a good look till, till we get what we're looking for and I'm going to go up maybe one or two more times here okay now I'm going to shift select all of them and adjust them together maybe bring it over a tad like so Maybe even scale them in a tad to make them not quite so long. And if you want to make sure they're all even, go in and select the end polygons. Hit the R key. And scale them like we always have done. And you notice that we'll straighten them up. 